Love Truth presents the Parent and Family Resource. An Introduction to the Parent and Family Resource Aloisa introduces the Parent and Family Resource, which is based on principles of divine truth applied to parent and family dynamics. The principles can be applied to many varied situations. Presented on the 2nd of March 2021 from 8am in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. Hello and welcome, my name's Aloisa. This is a resource for parents or for anyone who's involved with children. So teachers, grandparents, even if you're a child yourself, siblings, anyone who's interested, um, really the resource is being created for anyone involved, like a, it's mainly the parent-child relationship, but um, because it's based on principles, those principles can be applied to anyone's life under any circumstances. It's just that I'll be taking the principles and specifically applying them to children and the relationship dynamic in a partner relationship will be what I'm mainly talking about. But because most of them will be principles that I'm talking about, you can apply those to your life under any circumstance. So this resource is taking principles of divine truth as taught by Jesus and Mary Magdalene, also known as A.J. Miller and Mary Lutt. And for the source of that information, you can go to the Divine Truth website, which is www.divinetruth.com. I will put that information also in the little comments section so you can easily access and with a link so you can get to that information easily. I've been experimenting with Divine Truth principles and teachings for approximately 11 years, give or take. And... I started with very, very young children, and so uh, one of them, when I first heard the teaching of divine truth, was, wasn't even born, and now the youngest is 11 and the oldest is 13. So everything that I speak about here, I have tried, experimented with, or I am trialing and experimenting with now. I found the teachings of divine truth to be completely life-changing, absolutely. I see only benefits from applying God's truth to your life sincerely. I also feel that it's important to experiment and a lot of what I say here you may or may not agree with initially. That's okay, it's up to you. I do encourage you to have an open mind and to feel your way through things rather than think your way through or yeah, just give up and say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to uh, have, it. just keep an open mind, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. Some things they will challenge you, some things you won't agree with, but I just encourage you to figure out why. If you're interested, keep watching, there's going to be a whole series of videos, and they'll be on specific principles and then relating them to various parts of parenting, or uh, I try and use a whole wide range of examples um, so that you can see how the principle applies in many different situations. Um, I'm wanting to do it this way because when you talk about examples or situations specific, then you only have the skills or uh, you can only deal with that situation specifically. Whereas if you have a principle, you can apply that in any situation. And that's why I, I really love, love principles. It took me a while personally to actually understand or get principles. And now that I do, I, I can see how beneficial they are. I also encourage you, if you've got any questions or you want to share experiences and things like that, you're welcome to contact me um, via my website, which is aloisalh.com. I'll also put a link to that underneath this video as well. So you can, act, um, so you can contact me if you desire. Now, Depending on time will depend on how I am able to answer your questions or to, uh, yeah, obviously individually I probably will make videos to answer a, a whole heap of questions at one time or one question depending how long it takes to answer it rather than individually um, replying to each person. As you can imagine, if people become interested, then it's going to be just a time factor. I'm looking forward to sharing some of the things that I've experienced but also to make sort of clear various ways that you can change your family dynamic in a positive direction. I think in a nutshell, the resource is mainly about 
getting to know yourself and what's really happening in, in your home. If you choose to experiment and trial some of the things that I'm suggesting, then it's about measuring the results of those. So a lot of self-reflection is required and that's a skill that you can develop. And it's about building relationships. A lot of the things, we will talk quite a lot about relationships with a partner as well and the dynamics between partners because that affects the relationships and the dynamics and what the children reflect in a home. So there are a number of things that I feel I need to cover before we get started on this resource because I'll be referring to quite a lot of divine truth teachings or terminology or I'm going to call them divine truth basics and they're basic things that if you understand you'll or have at least a theory of what I'm speaking about you'll be clear about what I'm talking about and I want to be clear about some of the terminology because various words mean different things to different people and I also notice that sometimes when I speak about parenting and I speak about some of the terminology people go yeah yeah no I understand and I did the same thing myself but once you actually start feeling through certain things you realize oh actually I don't understand I you know you think sometimes you understand but you don't fully understand because um, what I've found is that to really understand the, the principles of divine truth and the teachings of divine truth, it's an emotional process that you need to feel through and come to accept in your heart or in your soul, if you like, which we're going to talk about a bit more in, in, in a moment. And the real change and the real understanding is via an emotional experience. And that's quite different to just having a theory or going, yes, yes, I understand something. So... As I said, I've been through these things myself and I will share things that I've um, found. I, I'll also share things that I haven't necessarily done very well or, you know, I really haven't gotten or I'll be just be very open and transparent is what I'm trying to say. I feel like that's the best way to interact with you guys and also it's what I'm encouraging you to do. The more honest and open you can be about your entire um, internal life, as well as your external life, because your external life is reflecting what's going on inside of you or in your soul. And the more transparent you can be about that, the way I like to look at it is the more God can help you and work with you. Um, I will be using terminology, which we're going to go into. I do talk about God a lot. You, there's two ways you can do this program. One is with God, which I see as the fast track, and one is on your own understanding. Sometimes that's a bit harder because until you get an education in love and for me that's been an education in love from God's perspective you're kind of flailing around in the dark a lot so the, again the teachings of divine truth are very helpful the divine truth website is a very to me very to me very precious resource but it's also got so much information and can help you understand a lot of things that I'm speaking about far more in depth than I'll be speaking them about them here i will cover everything that I speak about and the terminology and all of those things and I'll have reminders and things like that and I'm going to make basic, give you some basics of divine truth because if you haven't ever come across divine truth then some of the things you, you it, it might be a bit confusing or you might not understand if they're not explained. So the first video will be about explaining the basis and basics of divine truth and some terminology so um, just to get us started. After that, we'll be talking more in depth about some of those basics and also about principles of divine truth and how you can apply them to parenting just across the board in different situations. So I'll share personal experiences and also try and give a wide, as wide variety of experiences as possible. So if you've got any questions or queries or um, yeah, just things that are happening in your life, if you do start experimenting and you want to share those, please feel free to contact me. My contact details are in the links below the video and you're welcome to contact me there. I will attempt to answer people's questions and uh, possibly do videos with some Q&As on those things um, and we'll see how we go. I would like to say that I am in a process of learning myself. So what I share on these videos are things that I've learnt or know to be true. Some of the things that I um, share will also be what I'm experimenting with and I don't have all of the answers or understanding yet. So I'll be clear about when I, when I know, no, this is, this is absolutely true and, if, and I do believe that if you try it in your own home, 
and you sincerely apply it, the, that, that will actually aid your life. And other things I'll say, well, look, I'm testing this out and I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. And you could do an experiment yourself and see what happens. So um, as I said, I'll be truthful and transparent with you and I encourage you to be the same with your partner and with your children and in your everyday life with everyone you meet. Uh, there's a lot of benefits for doing so. So I've created this resource for the benefit of anyone who's interested really because I found that the teachings of divine truth were so helpful in a positive manner in my life to make positive changes. Um, when I first started, I was pretty clueless about myself, about pretty much everything, to be honest. And I noticed that a lot of parents feel quite clueless about how to do things. We don't have that many good role models. We're often either in rebellion towards our parents saying, I don't want to do anything that my parents did, or we're emulating a lot of things that our parents did, or we sort of swing, uh, you know, a bit pendulous. We're going to go all the way in rebellion, like now I'm never going to do what my parent did, or you kind of do the same as your parent did, or sometimes you think you're not going to do what your parent did, but you kind of unwittingly do. And all of it, I don't know, doesn't seem very clear to me. And often I see how there's a lot of behavioral issues that happen in families and in schools and all kinds of things. And these resources are to help parents because those behavioral issues are reflecting things that are happening in your family. And if you can understand that and come to find the cause of what's creating those behavioral issues, and that's in you, um, particularly when the children are very, very small, then you can actually make some changes in yourself and that will have a positive impact on the children and, the, and your environment. So I found that we went from a very, very out of control, if you like, totally chaotic family life to now having, a, a, like I really enjoy our family life now and I'm building relationships with the children. I'm getting to know the children. Um, not, I'm getting to know them from what they feel and think and their experiences rather than me imposing as a parent upon them. And I'll talk far more about these kind of things in future videos, um, particularly how as parents we impose things on children rather than let them be themselves or explore and understand things. I also will cover the role of a parent um, and that's again taken from the teachings of divine truth and from God's perspective. A lot of things that I will be saying are from God's perspective. Um, some of those I know in my heart to be absolutely true. Some of those I just feel will be true, but some I have yet to um, accept in my heart about, about those things. And I'll be clear with about those things as well. I also see in families a lot of the time of uh, the way we engage with children is sometimes like either dominant, dominating and controlling and trying to get them to do what we believe is right or, you know, trying to mould them into something we want, you know, to fill in the gaps in our relationships. All kinds of things happen. Sometimes we're, there's, you know, there's all kinds of parenting styles, I suppose you could say. Often we neglect children in the sense of we just, you know, leave them to their own devices. Sometimes we don't want to actually have any conflict, so we let children run amok and a lot of entitlement then ensues. Sometimes we give everything, which, you know, creates entitlement as well. There's so many different things, like some kids have a lot of trauma in their life and as a parent we can change pretty much all of those things in a positive way we are the adults the children are I see as reflectors of their environment so children are this beautiful gift that has been given to us to learn about love and this resource is based basically on getting an education in love again the divine truth teachings have some wonderful resources on gaining an education in love highly recommend those. I will be talking about some of them in these videos as well um, and I will refer back to the resources so that you can go to the particular ones that would benefit you or that I'm talking about specifically in these videos. But the assistance groups I highly recommend and they are in the recommended viewing list because that is the way you're going to gain an education in love. And rather than me trying to regurgitate what has been said by Jesus and Mary on those topics, I highly suggest you go to the source of the information. Uh, they are very clear, um, to the point, practical, down to earth. Yeah, exceptionally, uh, well, I, in my opinion, exception, exceptionally good teachings. And as I said, they've changed my life in a positive manner and I just want to share those with you 
so that you have the opportunity to explore them further if you so desire. Take into consideration that this resource is based on your desire. If you don't want to change, um, you're not going to. If you don't want to apply what's being said, you won't. Um, and that's fine. So that's really up to you. I do suggest to give things a go and to experiment. I set myself up many, many experiments every, well, often every day, but definitely over the course of a few months, I have ongoing experiments that are happening in order to find out more about myself, learn more about the children, build relationships. And I'm curious about a lot of things. So I enjoy that process. I feel it's a privilege to be a parent and to have some little souls in, in our care as parents who that we can get to know and learn so many things from. And I feel that if we as parents actually work through a whole lot of issues within ourselves, then that relationship becomes a lot smoother and easier. And I observe a lot of parents are not really coping with being a parent and we then take actions that are not very loving towards the children or towards ourselves. And obviously there's a whole myriad of examples of that and different people do different things. Um, and the way we interact is different because of our own unique experiences in our past and our childhoods and also because of our own soul personality and nature and qualities that we have also that are going on. So I want to talk, a lot of the time it will be talking about you, the parent, rather than the child. And I suppose that's one of the most important things to get is that this resource is, is about you and looking at yourself. It's not about blaming or taking anything out on anyone else. It's about you. So yeah, if you're already challenged by that, I suggest to feel about, you know, look at how I'd measure how you look at the world and do you see a lot of things in your life as other people's problems or do you see it as yours and something that you um, you can actually make different in this resource I'll talk a lot about self-responsibility um, which is a quality of love and it is something that is about us so you can't change anybody else you can change yourself and that's a fundamental fact of life. So you, you may have already tried it in your, in your past or had experiences where you've tried to change someone else. You're never going to be able to. You can influence others positively or negatively or in various manners, um, you know, morally or morally, immorally or morally. And you have a lot of power of influence on children as adults we do. But in the end, it comes down to that we can only change ourselves. It's one of the very, very most important things. Also, another key fact is that the only real change is emotional change or soul-based change. If you do not go through an emotional um, experience or expression of, of it, then you won't be making real change. So you can think intellectually about anything you want. You can make physical changes, but under certain conditions, under pressure, you will revert back to what you've always done because that is what is in your soul, unless your soul has changed. So a lot of the things that I speak about, again, they're theory, and this um, resource requires for it to work well for you to feel. And that will be, we'll talk a lot more about that in coming videos. Um, it also requires a lot of self-reflection, and for you to take responsibility for your feelings, thoughts, actions, deeds, all of that is about you. And children, as I briefly have uh, mentioned, so another fact is that children reflect their environment. They reflect all the unhealed emotional injuries inside of their parent. Um, and I'll go into more about what unhealed emotional injuries mean, but it's really what's inside of us, our real thoughts, our real feelings, basically our real feelings, because they dictate our thoughts, they dictate our actions. And what we actually feel is very important to come to know, understand and measure. As I said, I feel like there's many, many benefits. That's why I'm doing these videos um, and why I'm sharing information with you. And again, any questions, queries, please don't hesitate to contact me. So that's probably it for the introduction and we'll move on to some Divine Truth Basics.